Making your own pastry at home for your favourite quiche or your sweet tarts is extremely simple. There's just a few rules that you should follow. Number one, it's half the fat to flour. So here I've got 200 grams of flour to 100 grams of butter and it has to be unsalted. The other major rule when making pastry at home is to make sure that your butter is extremely chilled, so nice and cold. If it's not cold, then your pastry will be really greasy and that's not what we want. Also, if you have a food processor at home, pastry is made even more easy. All we have to do is pop in our flour, so 200 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of the butter, and we want to cut this into cubes and 20 grams of sugar. Of course, if you're making a savoury tart or a quiche, omit the sugar. So we'll place that all in like so. And now we place the lid on and we're going to process this just for a few seconds. Basically, we're looking for that crumb form. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at this. So you can see here that it almost looks like almond meal. So nice, light and very flaky. Okay, now we start adding the water and I like to place the lid back on, start processing again and add one tablespoon of water at a time. Again, it really depends because you want it to form a ball. So as soon as that forms a ball, you know you've got just the right amount of water. nicely and all we do is remove the pastry out of the processor just like so and you don't want to overwork it now at this stage because we want it to be quite short so we form a disc and we get some cling film we wrap that up and it needs to chill at least for one hour in the fridge. By chilling it, it firms up, which means it makes it nice and easy to roll out when we're ready to make our quiche or tart. <laughs>